It's just you and me. Good. Then you've saved me a lot of trouble. Maybe not. Somebody's been teaching you. You can learn a lot from watching television. Tommy wasn't afraid to die. Are you? Damn right. Mostly I'm just pissed. So am I! You know, I'll come for you. All right, boy, come on, it's all over. You son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 an accident, boy. I was just doing my job. Yeah, like how you were. Richie, this doesn't have to go any further. Leave it alone. 
Mac, it's already gone too far. And remember, McLeod, all the separations from the beast is the law. You wouldn't cut me, would you? That's the idea. I really wanted the squaw man, but uh, he's not here. I expect you will do. Must be the Coast Starlight. Coast Starlight. I've never seen Coast Starlight. I'm sorry, Mike. Anybody, Richie. I know. Mike. Don't worry, Richie. I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. Look, not not even scared. Mikey, go see King of Trains. It was last July outside Anchor Studios. My bike was broken down and I was in no mood for hassles. Neither was he. He must have been on his way to find Craig. Move the bike, kid. 
find another way in. I said move the bike. I've got an appointment to keep. Yeah, well, life's full of little disappointments, ain't it? I'm not gonna tell you again. Out of the way. You wanna move the bike? Move it yourself. Hey, you should move the bike, kid. Brother. Come on. I'll kill you in a second, boy. Leave while you've still got your head. There's only one thing I hate more than being called a boy, and that's your stupid paintings. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was getting a little worried about you. You were? Why? We well, found Coltec. Yeah, I found him. I know how much you like the guy. I'm sorry. You were sorry? Yeah, well, you did what you had to do, but I know how much you hated it. Hated it? You're wrong. I loved it. What are you doing, Mac? You're a smart little boy, aren't you, Phil? Like that. Whatever happened, Mac, we can work it out. Sorry, wrong number. Just tell me why. The teacher kills the pupil? Is that what this is all about? Is it because there can be only one? Is that it? 
That's as good a reason as any. to kill me. Just get out of here. You saw what he did, Joe. We have to help him. Richie, don't you get it? This is not McLeod. Not the one we knew. This man is not your friend. Oh, Joe. Please, go, please. Okay. Please. Damn it. What are you doing here? What? What are you doing here? I just needed a place to... No, no, no. What are you doing here? I just needed a place to work out. You wanted a place to work out? Yeah, I just needed a place to work out. What's the matter with you? Oh, well, if you want to work something out, work this out. What the hell are you doing? You're a smart boy. Figure it out yourself. Oh! Oh! Nearly. Oh! You're so close. Up. Up. Richard, didn't I ever tell you not to let go of your sword? You know what can happen, don't you? <laughs> this. After you. Is it worth losing your head over a bad joke? We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. show up sooner or later. A man needs a fine blade. I'm not armed. Ah! Well, there you have it. Like most of life's lessons, the tendency is to learn them too late. Come on, man. I mean, where's the honor in this? 
Oh, I didn't come for your honor, boy. I came for your head. Why me? Revenge is the best reason. I don't even know you. You didn't know Carter Wellen when you killed him, did you? Oh, you must mean Leather Boy. <laughs> fighting. Imagine. What if all immortals could live in peace? Real, eternal peace. Who are you? I am the oldest of us living still. I am Mythos. It's up to you, Richie Ryan. You can take my head, or you can think about what I said. You wonder if that's why I do all this. Because I'm afraid to fight. Get up. What? Get up. Come at me. Come at me, please. You can do better than that. I wasn't ready for that. It's time to use your sword. Strike. No. I said strike. No. Strike! <laughs> Sometimes the best peacemakers are those who are most experienced in war. It's not that I won't fight. It's that I refuse to kill. And that's why you don't want them around. My faith is my defense. So far, it's worked. I'm sorry, I doubted you. I didn't mean to surprise you. I never thanked you for saving my life. It's not a problem. I mean, it's, it's what he teaches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've never met anyone quite like the old man. It's hard to imagine how he's lived this long without a sword. How are you managing? Well, I, I guess faith can take you a long way. You? Faith? I don't have any faith. No faith at all. Buddy, don't do it. You know this is wrong. Is it? Well, I guess old habits die hard. But he saved your life. I mean, didn't you listen to him? Right up until the end. Now, are you gonna make it as easy as he did, or are you gonna put up a fight? <laughs> I guess when you get down to it, we're all the same. Not all of us. He was different. <laughs> we were meant for war. You can't interfere, McLeod. The battle's been joined. I wouldn't think of it. Is 
this the part where I beg for mercy? Or will you say we don't have to do this? Neither. It's duty. What's the matter? You don't want to hurt your little buddy? <laughs> Some champion. What the hell are you? I'm your friend. I'm not your friend. I'm the man you can't kill.